been a great conference so far. I mean, just the right size. You get to meet everybody, get to talk to everybody, but you don't get lost in the crowd like you do at some of the bigger shows. It's been excellent. I think this show really is the most important optical show in Europe. It's, it's really as simple as that. All the right people are here. They're all in one place. We can have great meetings and we do some really good human networking. You know, half a decade ago, you know, we'd have the optical guys do the things at the corner. Nowadays, they need to talk to the Ethernet guys, to the IP guys, uh, how the uh, optical solutions are going to fit into the data center. So it, it's quite a change in how you approach uh, your, your research and strategy and vision when it comes to, uh, to optical platforms. Oh, I'm just amazed at how many people are showing up, the different vendors that are showing up. It's not just about uh, the carriers and, and their direct suppliers, but it's about the ecosystem of supply base into the carrier community. This is actually my first year attending the conference, although Cisco has been a participant for many years, and I'm delighted with the conference. I'm actually surprised to see so many service providers here. I think the, uh, the tally is about 80 service providers in about 50 countries, and that's a fantastic group for us to be presenting in front of and having a chance to network with. And it's very focused on optical. If you look at the talks themselves, there's very much an optical theme. Although increasingly, things like packet and services convergence become part of the discussion, it's very much an optical conference. And that is really, I think, important to have because that's such a specialized area for our suppliers and for our customers that it really is important to bring these people together. It's different. It's unique in a way. It's different from ECOP and OFC, which are more, more focused on components. This is more focused on the system and the solution. Have a lot of uh, service providers participation, which is very good opportunity to meet all of them. Key themes at this conference, a lot of it's been around 100G. A lot of people are still trying, they're on that edge, right? They're saying, I think it's really good technology, but can I use that much capacity? In the end, it gives you all the scalability in your networks. I think that's one of the big themes here is, is 100G real? And, and they're finding out, yes, it really is. It really does work. It's available in products. I genuinely think the event has become the de facto optical event in Europe and, and further afield as well. We have a number of customers from Asia Pacific, from the Kala region as well. So yeah, it's been a very good event for us. Once again, I think we can most certainly say that the WDM conference has delivered, um, providing an excellent platform for the discussion of next generation um, optical systems and networks. The conference is actually uh, very good as usual. Um, the uh, discussions are much more informed on very specific topics than they used to be last year. Um, some of the very generic discussions we saw going on last year became much more specific, both on the vendor side and uh, for my peers, so all the service providers, so that has proven very useful. You know, we sometimes are focused on our own challenges and, and it's good to see the perspective of where the bigger picture is going and, uh, you know, that drives the right type of, of long-term investment for us, so it's a perspective that is important for the industry to have communication through all the different levels of the, the supply chain. Next speed, it's coming. And next year I hope to come back because I do love Monte Carlo, and um, I expect that we will be talking about the next speed in a much more real sense of, of a standardization activity.